Have you heard of this thing called the precautionary principle? What the precautionary principle is, is that if we don't know something, we better just play it safe and uh, act as though worst case scenario is going to happen. That's, that's kind of it in a nutshell. And in some cases, I'm going to say this isn't a, a bad thing. You know, if we're saying we're, we're going out for a walk and it might rain and it might not, and the precautionary principle would say that we should assume it's going to and take a raincoat. So that seems good to me. Um, if you are superstitious at all and somebody says you shouldn't walk under a ladder uh, because they're, they could bring bad luck, well, precautionary principle would say if it's just as easy to walk around it, or even if it's not as easy, yeah, go for it. Walk around it. Don't take the risk. So this, this can be something that's based on real factual things, or it can be something superstitious like, uh, you know, the ladder or uh, rain dance or something like that to, to make it rain. So, so it, it can be something that's, that's solid in foundation or not. My concern with the precautionary principle is that it's being used by the Agenda 21, the sustainability movement, and it is the whole reason that our lives are as they are today. And not the whole reason, but our lives are so, so greatly impacted because of the precautionary principle. And the idea is the globe is warming rapidly. Well, I guess back in the 60s or 70s or whenever, they were really worried that it was cooling. But then in uh, Alvin Gore's time, it was evidently warming dramatically. And then the idea was, since it's warming, and, and there were four polar bears that were recorded to have died uh, at the point that he made the uh, inconvenient uh, movie, at that time, only four polar bears had died. But, but there was some thought that, you know, maybe the globe was warming, and maybe it was going to be a big problem. And so then... The this is what we're all being told. This is the propaganda we're being told is that because of this, we need to really watch out. We need to change the way we live. We all need to move into human settlement areas, big cities. We should ideally live in a two or three story apartment right beside a, a railroad track, a subway type uh, transportation or a bus or something like that. But we all need to be in city centers. And this is what we need to do. We need to change from plastic straws to paper straws, and we can't use plastic bags at the grocery store, and we shouldn't be driving our big vehicles anymore. We should get rid of most of our vehicles, and if we're going to keep one, it should be a little tiny thing that's partially electric run. And better yet, we should let the government handle transportation for us. And if we need to go somewhere and we can't take a bus or an airplane or something, then we can rent a car. Or maybe we do have one car, but definitely a family doesn't need more than one. And so this was the whole idea of what we should do. Well, now, many years later, it's pretty clear that there's a, uh, there, are, there are a group of people that are pretending a thing is true that isn't true, and they're trying to spread all this propaganda. And in fact, there isn't a huge concern about climate change. There's, there's not a huge problem happening. However, now it's this precautionary principle. Well, yeah, but maybe it is. And well, maybe there is more ice now than there was before. And maybe we're measuring from different places and, and who knows, but those of you that aren't kowtowing and, and playing along and, and panicking uh, about not global warming, uh, climate change, those of you that aren't doing that, uh, you're the bad guys. But, you know, you can be good guys. Why don't we just all agree that it's better to play it safe? So maybe the globe is warming or cooling or fluctuating as it has for millions of years or 6,000 years, whatever your worldview. Maybe it's happening and so we'd better play it safe. So still, you need to give up your big home in the suburbs and move into a small apartment in the city, get rid of your vehicles, use those moldy uh, cloth bags instead of fresh plastic bags every time that you'd reuse a bunch of times for trash and stuff. You, you still need to make all these changes because of the precautionary principle, because it's better to play it safe. And maybe the climate is changing for the worse, whatever that means. And if it is, 
I know it hasn't been proven that man has anything to do with it, and actually the real science says that it, there's no, no evidence that man is causing climate change, uh, human activity. So even though there isn't any real evidence there, any good measurement systems that have, are, are behind the, the science, the precautionary principle would say we should still change our whole way of living, give up our freedom, and do what the government tells us to do in a non-binding uh, UN recommendation. Um, I, I call BS on this. The precautionary principle should not be used when it involves initiating force against others, telling people that they have to, like demanding 15 cents from them for a plastic bag at the grocery store. If you're going to extort money from me, make me change my lifestyle, you better have a really good reason for that. And you don't with climate change. Now you fooled people with IQs of, I would say, zero up to 110, 115, most of those people completely believe that the climate is changing and we must rapidly, oh, we've got to hurry and hurry and fix everything because man can manipulate the global temperatures and and <laughs> this is what we're, we're told we need to be scared about and we need to do. No, this precautionary principle thing is causing a lot of hell for mankind, for freedom, for people getting to go out and live lives, make their own choices. If you want me to change my behavior, I would suggest that the human, neighborly, nice, kind, proper, acceptable thing to do would be to persuade me. Just try to persuade me. If you can't, then oh well, you lost me. Maybe you can persuade others. You've already persuaded 80 or 90% of people. Why do you have to pick on those of us that aren't falling for it? It's, it's not right. So when you hear the precautionary principle, think back to this video. Think of your own experience, the various things that have happened because of this precautionary principle. And know that when you hear that term, watch out. There's probably somebody trying to pull one over on you. Thanks for listening, and please do subscribe right down here.